Not massive. Pipe back door, but very contestable. Now we're going to see Stuart Kennedy go up against Kai Otten. Kai Otten in danger of falling off tour. He really needs to get himself into the final of this event to have a shot at requalification. Stu Kennedy, on the other hand, with Kai Belly just falling out of the event, has a great opportunity to seize the Rookie of the Year title. He needs to get himself a ninth or better to have a shot. Such a character amongst the ranks, and he just has a quick look there, willing to have a gamble on that one, but it shut down. He needs to grab the wall with his right arm and stall. I can really see that hurting that inside rib. Kai Otten keeping busy down the line here, grabs that rail, and that wave just shut down, but Kai has really made a name for himself in these barreling locations on the championship tour. On show here as he lets go of a couple of decent turns. And right behind him, Otten, deep in the barrel, a long way back. He's not going to come through this one down on the south coast of New South Wales, but he's also pretty nifty on the back end. Again, see that? He, there's a couple subtle adjustments there I thought was so impressive from Kai. He grabbed his rail and then let go and grabbed again. But while he did that, he was pumping. Uh, it's super hard to do on your backhand. Uh, underneath it all, Kai is an amazingly uh, talented surfer. And here he goes. So this wave not barreling from the outset, but now starts to hollow out, but Kai gets caught up inside it. Just under 15 minutes to go, Stu Kennedy's been hanging on to that priority and doing exactly what we thought he might. Yeah, no doubt. Here we go. Kai keeping busy, loading up at the moment for this inside track through the pit, but he just gets slapped off, off his equipment. He's going to give this one a go. Well positioned, takes off. Not a lot of movement. Picks his line, he's in the barrel. He's going to go down there and probably experiencing a lot of pain under the surface at the moment. I want you to pay attention to this bubble right here. The boil, it's a deep spot right about there. And you can see it crinkled the wave. Now, it's a subtle thing, but it happens uh, when it's this size and you take off deep. So he was way up at the top of the lineup. Smoothly done. Well, Kai Otten, he's locking in deep here, and it's just a, another bad wave call for, for Kai there. He's had a number of waves like that, but the real pity with that one, Ross, is he had priority and gave it up. You know, it's a technical little barrel, and on your backhand, it's tough to get that speed at will. You saw Kai did a good job, just a couple of pumps there, Ronnie, before he pulled in, but once he pulled in, that's, you know, he didn't have that extra space as a, someone on their forehand would have. Oh, Adam, we can't wait to see what you do next year. Well done on a great, great year. Back to you guys. Thank you, Rosie. As we see Kai Otten just find a little inside TP. On taking off on waves a little too deep. Finally, he found himself just a mini exit. So a short barrel, it's not going to be a big score, but this is a low scoring heat. So Kai, pretty smart there to throw a little number on the board. So score's starting to roll through now with six minutes to go in heat eight. And Kai Otten just put a 2.7 on the board. It was a neat little barrel. Yeah, very funky. You know, it, it almost feels like there's no structure between uh, Kai and Stu right now. Obviously, uh, Kai swinging for the fences, catching a million waves, just looking for something. And here he goes again. Another small wave, but this one's going to barrel. Kai grabs that rail, should get the exit. And here he comes out onto the open face to let go of a couple of big turns, committed to that end section. And he'll hold on and get the completion. Uh, and now we're going to be looking at us, you know, a legitimate score needed from Stu. So again, nothing too fancy here, just a quick little barrel. He's going to add to it though with a nice little snap and a closeout wrenchy. So Ronnie, I, you know, this is very smart effort from Kai Otten. He's competing out there. He knows he's keeping tabs on Stu. He's going to up the ante. 2.23 for Kai. It's a nasty one. wonder if there was any words exchanged. Here we go, 25 seconds to go. Stu Kennedy waited for some time to get this right. He's deep in the barrel, still gunning. Uh -huh. But this thing is starting to really reel off. He's going to get caught inside and go down. Looking for a 3.6. He's not going to get it. But what a brave effort to jersey up and paddle out for Stu. He'll be devastated. The opportunity to seize that Rookie of the Year title is now lost, and Kai Otten scrapes through with a heat score total of 4.93.